Hi everyone, I'm sure most of you heard about RCT but not really sure what is it about. In this video, we will enlighten you all you need to know about RCT. So let's begin! Before we dive in deeper, so let me start off by explaining the parts of a tooth. The tooth consists of two major parts, the crown and the root. Let's start with the crown. The crown comprises of three main parts which are the enamel, dentin, and pulp. Firstly, enamel. Tooth enamel is a protective barrier that surrounds the visible part of the tooth. Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the human body and healthy enamel is resistant to cavity-causing bacteria. Dentin. Dentin is a yellowish substance found underneath the enamel surface. Next, pulp. Pulp chamber is the soft area within the center of the tooth and contains the nerve, blood vessels, and connective tissue. Next, what is dental caries? Dental caries are cavities or holes, a type of structural damage in the teeth. Cavities are formed due to tooth decay occurs as a result of bacterial infections. So, what are the stages of tooth decay? There are five stages of tooth decay. Stage 1, white or brown spots. Stage 2, enamel decay. Stage 3, dentin decay. Stage 4, pulp damage. Stage 5, abscess formation. This picture shows the clinical extension of caries. So what are the treatment for each stage? Stage 1, it's possible to reverse the demineralization process and prevent lesions from advancing through fluoride treatment. Stage 2, cavities must be treated by a dentist, most commonly with a dental filling. Stage 3, may be too severe for a traditional dental filling and instead require alternative treatments such as on lace or dental crowns. Stage 4, it must be treated with root canal therapy followed by some form of dental restoration such as a dental crown. Stage 5, may be treated with root canal therapy or tooth extraction. Let us now see about root canal treatment. Why RCT is done? It is done to relieve dental pain by removing the source of infection and save your tooth. In most cases, RCT is done in one or two visits. In first visit, infected pulp will be removed. In second or maybe third visit, cleaning and filling will be done. So, the RCT patient should expect few visits before treatment is completely done. RCT is consists of mainly four steps. In the first step, we will isolate the tooth to be treated from saliva. In the second step, we will create excess and remove infected pulp. Third step, cleaning and shaping root canal will be done. Fourth step, the root canal is then sealed with a material called katapacha. As the final step, temporary filling will be placed which then will be replaced by permanent restoration or crown. Let us now see the advantages of root canal treatment. First advantage is, it is efficient and cost effective compared to extraction or implant. It also gives prolonged life and maintain originality of the tooth. RCT enables effective chewing. It also protects our tooth from infection. It relieves toothache. And finally, it also can save disease tooth from extraction. I'm sure some of you are wondering if RCT is painful. Normally, before RCT, local anesthesia is given. So the actual procedure is not painful. But needing a root canal, however, can cause some discomfort. So for a few days after the treatment, expect some pain and sensitivity. Let me give you an inside scoop of what is post and core. So basically, post and core is a type of dental restoration required when there is an inadequate amount of sound tooth tissue remaining to retain a conventional crown. So why are posts and cores needed? It's needed in cases where a large part of tooth's original crown structure has been lost. This procedure helps increase the crown's stability. By now, you'd be curious if this procedure is always needed. The answer is no. If there's more than half of the crown left, then a direct build-up with composite material is sufficient. But without a doubt, post and core has its own perks like it increases crown stability, it's closer to its original dimensions, and it also has long-term chances for success. The last part is crown. 
Why do we need the crown? It is to strengthen tooth, prevent damage or break of tooth, and for your beautiful smile. There are three main types of crown available. Ceramic crown, porcelain fused to metal crown, and base metal alloy crown. Ceramic crown. They are used for front teeth. It can blend with your tooth color. It looks nice and superior in strength. Next, porcelain fused to metal crown. They provide stronger bond than regular porcelain because it is connected to a metal structure. The only problem with this crown is a black area at the gum line can be seen as light reflected by the metal. Lastly, base metal alloys. They are made up of non-noble metal that are resistant to corrosion. It requires least amount of healthy tooth to be removed to fit the crown. The color of this crown doesn't match the natural tooth color, so it is mainly used in back teeth. So here comes the end of the video. Hope you guys get a better view of our city through this video. That's all from us. Thank you.